Yes, of course. Uh, we have a strong report in the fourth quarter. The construction margin is holding up uh, very well. We are at 3.7%, uh, which is well above our target. Uh, we also overall, if you look at the full year, project development was uh, performing uh, on a good level. Uh, commercial development uh, has a good year overall. Residential development uh, has a good start of the year, but it slowed down significantly in the latter part of, of, of the year, especially in the fourth quarter. And we expect uh, the market to be uh, slow when it comes to residential development and commercial development. Uh, the infrastructure market, we expect it to be stable in, in most part of the Europe. In the US, on the other hand, we can see a strong market, uh, both for uh, infrastructure, but also for non-residential building, which is the sector we are in in, in the US. And it's an important market for us, 45% of the revenue. Uh, look, I'm, I'm just going to go back to your home market, if I can. I'm looking at headlines. Bloomberg, Rick's Bank Chief sees moment of truth for... Uh, Swedish real estate as well. Then I'm looking at one on Reuters, commercial real estate, biggest risk for Swedish banks, etc., etc. So they're worried about the, the, the investments, they're worried about CRE, they're worried about housing as well. How much are the central banks pushing too hard, do you think, in terms of taming inflation at the expense uh, of recession, or aren't they? I think it's uh, inevitable uh, to, that the, uh, they, they need to increase the interest rate to uh, get the inflation down. That, I think that's in the long term that's uh, important to avoid a recession. Uh, but of course, it uh, hits the residential market. Uh, people are seeing increased interest rates, uh, inflation, so they are more hesitant. And I expect that to continue for, for some time. Uh, but the good thing for us in the construction industry that we do see a lot of public investments in our different markets, both in infrastructure, but also in social infrastructure like school, universities, hospitals, airports and, and so on. So in terms of the guidance you're giving, Anders, at this, at this stage, how much visibility do you think you have over the rest of the year and what do you think you can deliver? Uh, we, we don't uh, give forecast on our performance, but we do have a market outlook and uh, we expect it to be slow when it comes to product development, more stable and even strong in the US uh, when it comes to infrastructure and non-resi building. So it's a mixed picture, but uh, we are, have been uh, proven ourselves that we can handle inflation, we can handle uh, downturn in the market, so we allocating our resources to market segment where we can see a stronger outlook. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.